Okay, well, we're done with chapter six and we're going to go to chapter seven. But actually, what I'd like to say is we didn't cover electric vehicles as part of the program. So let me explain why I didn't cover it as part of the program. I'm going to keep it in the book. At the end of this recording, if we have time, we'll make like a little conversation about 625, which electric vehicle charging station, EV, electric vehicle, electric transfer. Vehicle, transfer equipment, EV. Whatever. They change the title. They change the titles again on that one there. Okay. So if we have time, we're going to talk about electric vehicle, which has nothing to do with alternative energy other than that you could have an electric vehicle, that it has batteries on it, or it has it has you know it has batteries on it, and then you could connect it to a building and you can use it as part of a standby system. And we're going to talk about that when we get into 705 in a connected power production equipment. But the actual details <clears throat> in 625 really isn't much when it relates to what we're talking about. That has to do with size of conductors and overcurrent protection, which I'm not getting into electric vehicles. So the <laughs> interconnection of that is going to be important, and we're going to talk about that. All right, let's go <clears throat> on. Move on to 702, optional standby systems. I was requested, I think, by Rebecca, Mike, make sure you cover 702. And I'm thinking, why would I cover 702? An optional standby system. I hadn't really thought it all out at the time. All right, so now let's talk about optional standby systems. Capacity and ratings, interconnection, or should be a transfer equipment, signs, wiring, and outdoor generators. Now, and you're taking a rule that's been around for, I don't know how long 702's been around. And then we're saying, you know what, let's just kind of add this here and let's add this here and let's kind of put this in here so we can, because we have some unique scenarios here and we want to put it over there. So then when I've covered these rules, it's kind of like, but that has nothing to do with, with what we're doing. Well, if you, if you notice some of the slides we had, I show you a standalone system. We talked about the generator when we were in 445, right, Mario? Yep. And we talked about that, that other than one or two family dwellings, we need to have that that, that prime mover disconnect. And I showed you that picture of the generator. That generator, that is a standalone system, which I think you guys that are in the, I'll say PV, but I don't know what world you guys are in anymore because you got PV, energy storage, you got electric vehicles, you know, you got standby, you got generators, you got transformers. I mean, you guys have like everything out there. That industry has gone from just, you know, soldering things to a whole world. And you do need to know transformers and you do need to know about generators and you do need to know about optional standby systems all the rules in 702 that people in that world peter you need to know all of that if you're going to put that generator at that optional I mean that, that that standalone system well you know you need to know all the rules so it might not appear that this makes any sense to cover all of this well it does make sense <laughs>